You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great. Hey, Derek. You're great. Are we going to have nicknames for each other each episode? You're great. Yeah. You're great. I'm under boob. That's the original. That's the OG. So you're Nev so Nips. Great. I'm under boob. Oh, wait. Really let's good. not give away the studio production value we have here. It's pretty, pretty low. We're <laughs> probably going to sing anyway, so we might as well just use it. That's a good point. I'm... That's so funny. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know how to do this podcast you know, unless we look into each other's I, eyes. It's just the fucking generation jacking themselves up. It's easy to hate something that's really good. But everyone listening is cool, and all of the cool people are going to that show. You should do. This is a positive podcast. That's what we're going for. Yeah, we're that trying, was like the difference. People are going to be like listening to this and like, it's so fucking happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the feel good movie review. Eventually going to put out a CD just of my <laughs> singing, me singing random, random songs. <laughs> Tingling. Got a little tingly. Feel good. Uh, right guys, turned down I think, for what? <laughs> I think that's turned down for hug life. You're great. 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 Mike, you never stop what you're doing. You're great. You're great. You're so great. You're great. Kevin, you're great too. Kevin, you're the greatest. Kevin, you're so great. Kevin. You're both great. <gasps> Thank you. You're both you're both equal. It sounds like we're just pandering until <laughs> someone says it. Well, back to us. parts great. Thank you. Welcome to the Hug Life Podcast. I'm your host, Monica Nevy, along with my co host <laughs> Mike Coletta. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize I did it. I just said your name. <laughs> you said I'm your host, Monica Nevy. Guys, I'm it's me, Monica Nevy. Oh hey. <laughs> You know, I go that home and cry every time you do old. that impression. Why? The impression is super accurate. I go interview. home and cry, and I'm like, <laughs> and, you're like <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, he'll get like, there's Hi, nothing I can do about this. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. Let's do an impression to Kevin right now. <gasps> My beard is so sexy. <laughs> Kevin right now is like, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> guys, in the, in the Huggy, what, we should have a name for the for the art studio that's like really good. Oh, yeah. In Hug Central Station, Hug- we, have Ooh, <laughs> oh my God. That's we, have, we have Kevin Addison. Winner. I don't want it. There's no Hug more. Central. Guys, that's the podcast. Have a good Hug night. Thanks for talking to us. Welcome to Hug Central Station. Yeah. Population you and my arms and sweatiness. <sighs> Do you guys think, are my hugs really sweaty sometimes? No. No. No, this is. I have had a few. You guys, are you guys trying to butter my uh, damp are. ones? But that's, they're few and far between. And when they surprisingly, are, and when they're yeah. damp, you're like, oh, that's just his like love must. It's like an extra, yeah. They're never this means cold. I'm, this means I'm that, that much closer <laughs> to you. <laughs> they're never cold. <laughs> oh man, you guys. Hey, well, let's let's plug stuff up top. Um, I'm gonna plug my Twitter. It's at Mikoletta, M E C O L E T T A. You can follow Monica Nevy at Monica Nevy because she got her name and she's really cool, and we all know that. <laughs> you guys should rate and review this show on iTunes. It's been a long time since we've gotten a review, and you should subscribe as well. You do everything you can to make me feel good about myself. Right. Also, we've made a Facebook page for the podcast, and yes. you can like it. And I'm thinking now, because Mike is not very good about putting the charity in the description of the episode, I'm, I'm going to post it on the Facebook. So if you want to go to whatever charity... Um, then you can just look at it on there. So like our Facebook, it's just Hug Life Podcast. Did you guys feel a little passive aggressiveness there when she's like, oh, Mike's not very good at putting the charity on the Facebook? I didn't want to say anything. I felt like it was pretty aggressive. Was pretty <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys feel some aggressive straight, aggression? Straight in there. Uh, what else? I also have a fan page. Oh yeah, Maybe you guys can like Monica's like fan too. page, but I don't I don't have a fan page because I want everyone to be my friend. You guys are just super fancy with your fan pages. I'm not fancy. <laughs> Monica's fan page. <laughs> it's really <laughs> fancy. Okay. <Monica>. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, this is the first time I have to say this to a person. I think you might be too close to the microphone. Am I? Oh, all right. No, that's way better. Now talking to talk normal. Oh, right. talk like that. Talk right, like, just like, like I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Before it was like crackling, like your your voice so was like. Goes, I, I'm it, a rhinestone cowboy. That might have just been my voice. We got <laughs> pillows for the microphones. No, we did. We got Comfy. a little foam. We got we got some Tempur Pedic microphone say, covers, like tem- and some, they're very soft. They are. That's kind of why I'm laying my face on it. No. <laughs> it feels, it feels really good. It, it feels just really, wants to be really, so really close fancy. Up. We bought a bunch uh, of stuff. I also bought a cord that I forgot to plug in that allows me to play clips on the laptop. So that'll be next episode. <laughs> 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 uh, did you get a song? I we, love the song. Well, well, the theme song. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna put. I mean, it, I'm gonna put it up atop and post. Oh, yeah. A little podcast magic right Ooh. there. Ooh. Post. Yeah, in post. I was excited about the microphone pillows, so I don't hit my. Teeth on the microphone anymore. Monica, <laughs> I get too excited. Monica gets excited and just starts gnawing on the microphones. <laughs> She's like, gang, gang, gang. And Mike's excited about his cans. I'm up my can. I got my new headphones Special on. Super I got a lot of new cans. stuff going on. Right I did. Now. I bought a bunch of stuff. I'm like, you know what? It's all about the quality for the hug bugs. I want the hug in bugs the to have the highest quality. Hug Central Station. When they get into Hug Central Station. <laughs> 
And they buy that Hicket. That's a hug ticket. <laughs> 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 Hicket. They get to go on the hug train. A uh, one-way stop. To my arms. The Hug Express. Welcome Here to the Hug Express. <laughs> Everybody get your hickets punched. Get your hickets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this name of the episode is going to be Hickets Punched. Hickets Punched. Hickets punched, yes. punched. Why are you flapping your wings like a bird? Because I just ate wings. Oh, okay. I, would, I would like to dedicate this episode to the waitress at Buffalo Wild Wings. Jamie. Who, who I kind of want to marry. Is, is her name, name Jamie? Jamie? Yeah. I didn't care for her eyebrows. Wait. Oh, dude! I, I was gonna. <laughs> okay, this is no longer dedicated. Because <laughs> if she's listening, that's right. We put that. We put it on the receipt. I did. I said. Great. I said you're great. Hashtag hug life. And then you're like hashtag eyebrows. Check it. Learn to draw. So she's probably <laughs> <Does> she, listening. <laughs> do a lot of ladies I like you? Do a, I like you too, Jamie? You're I kind of want to marry you. I get really strong. I appreciate your service. service. I just want to appreciate, your, appreciate your artwork. I appreciate, I appreciate your service. Is she in the army? No, she serves me wings. Yeah, she's way more important than any person in the army. God bless your service. Thank you for your service. I'm gonna edit that last. Part out of <laughs> let's give it up for the troops and let's all give it up for Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> employees <laughs> and their troops and their troops. Let's give it up for Chicken Wings. Let's do that. Yeah. Just chicken wings. But uh, yeah, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. B Dub Dub. It was really fun. Oh, um, yeah. We ate a lot of wings. It was Tuesday. It was six cents wings. S- we slaughtered Dude, a whole. Dude, if we had them sponsor us, wings. I would shit my pants. <sighs> Probably because you that, eat too if many that wings. Ever <laughs> <happened>. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. uh, they, we ordered hey, twice. Be- we did. We I think we all did, yeah. I did. Hey, B-Dub, oh. if you're looking to get your Hicketts punched, you should come <laughs> on over here. Hicketts. You want to get your Hicketts punched? <laughs> it sounds, I don't That's know. That's my contribution to the show. It sounds kind of like Southern, like a Southern term that's or not okay. <laughs> someone's going to suck on your neck. That's what oh. I'm you want to give, give me some of that Hicketts. Or it sounds like a mix of hug rickets, which is a disease. <laughs> <laughs> hug rickets. Oh, no. Don't I, hug him. I, got, I hugged somebody. You gave me rickets. rickets. I got them Hicketts. <laughs> Uh, well, we're pretty dumb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like love it. Email us at huglifepodcast at gmail.com. Yeah, uh, if you have any charity stuff coming up or yeah. an event or something, please email me. We're really going to push I'll the charities more. I'm going to put them in the description. I've been really bad about it. Good, this. and I'll put it on the on the Facebook, so then like, you can actually check them out. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we do it and we just get in a rush and I get so excited to post it because I want to get it out to my hug bugs so quick. I want them to go to like Hug Central Station and punch their hicket <laughs> and just be like, this is the best episode ever. It's also because Mike uh, shares his time thinking about this podcast and Wings. That's yes, true. It's that's as, it. it's it's, it's seventy. Much it. I don't know if it's quite fifty it's 80, fifty. But it's eighty twenty yeah. wings to podcast. <laughs> <laughs> eighty wings. Tw- I always told myself I want to make my own chicken wings, and then I keep just forgetting. I, I used I, to do that. I, I know you did. You make such. That's good why. You that's why. Because I remember. I, well, not like I made he them like myself. Raises but like I go chickens and, buy and, then and then he murders them, and then you he keep makes, the heart attached to the legs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You cover a heart in buffalo sauce and just swallow it whole uncooked. Do you then the Kali before I make them? I make them down the in an entire bottle of a sauce of my choosing before. <laughs> Ooh, so it's like marinated from yeah, the inside. From the inside out. It's like the force feeding ducks for foie gras. Yeah. Except you force feed chicken <laughs> wings. Yeah. Sauce yeah. For <laughs> yeah. Not in here. Really seals in the flavor. No rules, just right up, Exteos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, yeah, I want to make my own chicken wings. We should do that. We should have a chicken uh, wing day where I make them. Lie. Yeah, that's why I, I started buying sauces. Hey, from, if you guys have chicken B-dubs. wing recipes, email us at huglifepodcast@gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do we'll do a, a recipe review. Okay. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I told Kells Bells when she's on here, we're gonna do a review of her Kelsey bake. Bake. <laughs> Kelsey Bake. <laughs> I did enjoy. Uh, I think it was banana bread she made. Ooh, recently, yeah. that the uh, the day that we hung out and you were supposed to be there and you were in Oregon, I was in Portland. She yeah. made, I think, she made banana bread and then Cows! she she, oh, she yeah. gave me the loaf because she said that she didn't want it in the house because like her and Kane didn't want to right, be around. And I was like, fucking, I'll dispose of it. All healthy and shit. Give it to me. Like, and I, yeah, it, I think it lasted a day <laughs> and it was gone. She gave warm us banana cookies. bread with butter on so it. So good. Anything with pumpkin bread too is my favorite. Ooh, oh my god! Tis the season. If you, if anyone has pumpkin bread recipes or is pumpkin anything, you know what? Recipes, yeah, I'm down for that. That's what this yeah. is my favorite time of year. If yeah. you guys just want to talk to me about food, email at Hug Life Podcast. Like pumpkin gmail. beer, right? Mm-hmm. You have some pumpkin. Good. It's the best kind. Yeah, that it's one. It's my favorite right. beer, hands down. Isn't it? Isn't the season technically over? Or is it still going? It just always uh, sells out really quick. The sold out, it sells out. Sold I don't know if they have any left, but they so they only there. brew it from I think August to October or November, but. There's probably there might find. there might be still some for sale. Maybe you might have to just look for it. Really, yeah. I'm king. I found this one. Oh, it's so Damn good. It. I still have. I think I have four or five left. Ooh. I've, I've saved. I save. I buy a case. I like buy a case of twelve. Uh, I try to say I save one for Halloween, Thanksgiving, my birthday, Christmas, New Year's, and then the rest are just fair game. You guys stay right here. I forgot about something that my roommate just told me, and it's genius. You guys stay right here. Uh oh. Okay. You guys keep talking amongst yourselves. Okay. Food review Here's... on the fly. Food review. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of wings did you get? Me? Yeah. 
Uh, I always go Thai curry, Parmesan garlic, and then uh, a, like a weird miscellaneous. Uh, what are you doing? He's, I don't know. He's getting more food. Do you have weed God, brownies? Uh, no. What are you? You remember no, what happened really last special. time? <gasps> Let's talk about that. Oh, my God. When Kevin almost died. When I got astronomically high. <laughs> he was so can, we high. T- can we talk about that? Oh. And I couldn't even sit. I had to lay down. You <laughs> slept a majority slept of America's like, how, holiday. Like, it was like six five, hours. I was like five, yeah, really five long hours. Time. Cause a you're long to, time. You're supposed to drive me home. I didn't leave till like one. And then <laughs> he <laughs> tried to rally at one point, and his face was just like, "Yeah, mm, can't do this." Nope. So what we got here, you guys, are oh some restaurant God. quality pumpkin flavored <gasps> bites. They're little tiny ones, so we can all eat one. They're not like super filling or anything. They're little bites. A little bites. Really? Like I want us all to eat them at the same bites. time. I'm already full. <laughs> okay, we're. I'll save my Reese's for later. Oh, you mother. A pump, one of the it's little, called a pumpkin bite. Yeah, the little pumpkin bites. These little things. <gasps> Looks like a little pie. Grab one. Oh my god. They're oh. really good. Oh. All right, let's <laughs> let's all eat it together. And three, two, one, cheerio. Holy shit! It's like Fuck a little you. pie. Mm-hmm. You expect me to eat one of those? Yeah. Oh, damn it. So, food review: ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No, that's really good. That's oh. like a. What is it's a little bit pumpkin cheesecake? Yeah, yeah. cheesecake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My my friend, my which room, is the technical term? My cheesecake. My my intern roommate. <laughs> Your intern roommate. <laughs> he brought these from uh, his restaurant. Oh man! Saying. Oh, I didn't know he worked at a restaurant. Yeah, dude. Mm. Super tasty, right? He needs to bring home more treats. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go put these in the fridge again. You guys keep on uh, on the reg. On the reg. <laughs> it is. It's like a little pie. If he wants me to keep calling him Puddin' Pants. Uh, Puddin' Pants. Is that a good nickname? <laughs> I know. It's because I came over the other day, and I my, usually Mike answers the doors, and I I call Mike random right. like pet names, yep. and I forgot. And I'd never met PJ, so I didn't know it. Hey, he was Puddin' Pants. Yeah. Pants. So like as soon as the door opened, I was like, hey, thanks, Puddin' Pop. And then it wasn't Mike. <laughs> I was like, oh. Puddin' Pop. <laughs> well, I guess that was for you. You got the pudding pop into my heart. Yeah, yeah. You got the pudding <laughs> on fire and my loving starts. Pumpkin spice into my brain. Yeah, meow. Gonna make a CD of me singing these songs. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. You can listen it's to it before you go to bed. Pumpkin spice just <laughs> me. <laughs> Wake me up. <laughs> Wake me up before you go-go sounds like, hey, I'm gonna take a poop just to let you know. <laughs> you gonna... Don't before use the you go. It's, it's not <laughs> my roommates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, have you guys had someone do that to you where they pooped and they didn't tell you and then you have to go take a shower and you're like this is the worst day of my life uh, Aaron tries to hide the fact that he poops in my bathroom sometimes <laughs> <laughs> I can t- you leave your toilet paper roll in there he has his own toilet paper roll I know it's weird he's got a special brand do you buy one play I don't know I I who, buys, who buys I one bought, play I bought Costco one play one time what are you doing signature. I got Kirkland signature toilet <gasps> paper too best. Cameron did turn me on to uh, to wet wipes Oh yeah, it's oh, well, actually it wasn't that. it wasn't quite Cameron, but uh, he helped. Yeah, I heard that on an episode of Cribs like ten years ago. I forget who it was. I love Might have been Cisco. Um, Let no, me no joke. See that toilet paper. <laughs> he knows a lot about bucks. Right. He's a connoisseur. Kongs, like it's, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Pretty. All right. No, I haven't. I've I've had the opposite <laughs> happen though, Mike. Where uh, a girl I was dating several years ago was hanging out with me at my apartment, and I went to the bathroom, and I didn't think. I made that big of a disaster. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> These are the stories that belong on this podcast. And I, and I just, I went out and I was like, all right, it's all yours. And she went in there. It's all yours. <laughs> Go have it. I didn't realize it, but uh, I didn't even realize it like right after it happened. Like it took me a second. Like I think maybe like after <laughs> she came out, but like she went in, she shut the door, the door shut, and all I heard was "ha." <laughs> 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 that's awesome it's not i don't know we, at work oh my god my the like staff bathroom is essentially a closet in my boss's office <laughs> 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 so you have to go in through her office and then like in and i hate it when people can hear me pee so i really are you one of those like it when she's in there but like if you need to do anything she is essentially in the room with she's you. like hey how's right. it going it's just so weird is it clear to drink a lot of water <laughs> i was gonna say you're one of those people that like uh Being clear. You, you every time you go to the bathroom like if company's over or somewhere that's not your place you turn the faucet on mm-hmm. 
I had when I was in college, we'd all go to the bathroom before practice, right? And one time we were at Boise State and there was only one stall. And so the other point guard was inside of the bathroom, like waiting while I was in there. And I was just sitting there and I was like, yeah, you're going to have to go outside if you want if you <laughs> want me to go quickly. And she's like, she just goes, oh, damn it. And then walks outside. You just made me have a memory that's really terrible about playing high school football. Because the, the stadium in Auburn Riverside High School, there is no stadium. So we have yeah, to use there Auburn. is no stadium. We have to go to Auburn Stadium, Auburn Memorial Stadium. Right. And the bathrooms have like one stall and they're made of those cement bricks, which just echo right. any. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I am not. I am like I am not right good now, at scary. playing football. I wasn't very good at it. Okay. So I didn't. I sat on the bench. So when halftime happened, I'm like, I gotta pick a poop. Like in halftime of the game, it's like Friday night lights. Like everyone's into it. It's like a homecoming or some shit. <laughs> some shit. And uh, <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom now. I sit down right as the head coach starts his like halftime speech <laughs> and i am like making terrible noises too. you can still hear it like i can't hear him talking <laughs> i can hear it and i like sit in there the whole speech because i don't want anyone to know it's me <laughs> and then, uh, echoed grunts and then, like, echoed, just, like, Plops. he's like we gotta go out there and, <laughs> and we gotta get things going <laughs> He's like, we're losing to Kent Ridge, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I never told anyone. I never told anyone. I wish you guys could see his face right now because it's completely different than when he normally laughs. laughs. <laughs> yeah, well, he's crying, but he's also there's like this weird embarrassment. Like, redness. But like, and what's funny is I got out. Like, uh, I waited for him to get done, <laughs> and then they all were like, "Let's go out there, yeah!" And then I'm like, "Oh shit!" And I had to like join the crowd to get out. And my friend would lean on me like, "It's like that was totally you." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I had, I had, I had IBS. Oh, very good. You had or had? I had a, you, you got can, rid you of all grow, of it yeah. right that time. You can <laughs> grow. You can grow out of it. Really? Mm-hmm. I was not aware. Yeah. Of it. They thought I was lactose intolerant, and I'm like, I think you just have IBS. I had to get a colonoscopy oh when I was 16. It was really yeah. embarrassing. What? And then girls found out that I was trying to date. That did not work well. It's hard to date a girl when they know you have a camera shoved up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's game for anything. <laughs> Fair game. I heard you like pooping in locker rooms during emotional speeches. <laughs> 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 now I'm imagining like every good like sports speech like with just someone shitting Broke in the background. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I keep thinking of the remember the Titans Gettysburg right. thing, and he's like, oh, like the hot sled hitting off their bodies. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I don't know why part of what makes that story funny is that it's a, it was against Kent Ridge. Right. I mean, it was one of the Kent two shitty schools. The, um, all the well, my, schools versus all the Kent. Well, most of the Kent, all the Kent schools are pretty team, shitty. My high school football team had the longest losing streak in like <laughs> all <laughs> national history. It was like eighty something games. Holy. Yeah, and it was broken. Like the dream was to win a game. Like if you, if you win, win a game, game everybody lost who their who shit. Did you win against? Oh, well, I, even, I wasn't even playing then. I was like, I was a sophomore then, so I didn't play varsity. Oh, okay. But it was like a big deal. We won. I was like, oh my gosh! And then we just and lost then never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't matter. It just like <laughs> so oh. after that, that's whatever. The streak's broken. It's all that. And you know, I think about it. It wasn't a player that came up to me. It was definitely my offensive lineman coach that was like, "That was you, wasn't it?" I'm like, yeah. <laughs> the guy who you thought was at our show the other night. Yeah, that he wasn't there. I <laughs> it wasn't he, him. Yeah, I thought he was at the TV taping, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you have a doppelganger that looks exactly like you. Like, they smile the same and everything. And I went up close. I'm like, that's not him. That's not him. <laughs> oh, oh god. And then it made sense because like he has a kid. Why would he be at a show at midnight on a Tuesday. It's true. We were kid. filming. It's uh, what if you met, saw him in the bathroom? Oh my gosh! It'd be like, Burr. what if you were in the stall next <laughs> you to him like and Mike? you were both going? And he was like, Mike, like, coach, <laughs> <laughs> you hear me, coach? The worst part is like, because my, my sister, my sister, that's a weird. My mom, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is that? My weird? mom oh. uh, works at my old high school, and so she'll sometimes like, I'll so I'll go there sometimes. And just hang is out. Your girlfriend working? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, she's. And they come up to me and they're like, "Oh man, only if like my football coach is like, if only you were like this big when you played high school football." I'm like, "That's kind of an insult." <laughs> 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 like, man, if you were out of shape, fat fuck, but slightly taller, you could have played real football. <laughs> we could have used you. <laughs> we could have used you. It said you were a scrawny loser that played N64 all the time. <laughs> That's just not a loser. Deservedly so. Yeah, no. Feel good about yourself. Yeah, dude. Who can walk away from Mario Kart and GoldenEye and... That's right, and Super Smash Brothers. WCW. 
Diddy Kong. You know what? what I wasn't. I wasn't on the. I wasn't on the bench. You know, the, uh, that, that joke's not gonna work. Zelda. Hey, Monica. Yay. Yay. Cruising How do we go from world? poop to video games to hiccups? Cruising USA, you mean? Sure. Cruising or San Francisco yeah. Rush? Cruising World. Cruising USA? Yep. They cruising World. Courses in like Egypt and stuff. Yeah, Cruising World was the successor to Cruising Rush. USA. And there was San Francisco Rush like 2049. 2049 was the yeah. shit because then you could like do freestyle jumps and stuff and you get points And there was like all it. kinds of secrets and weird shit. Uh, you I just yeah. wanted to try and be involved in a video game conversation, but that's all I had. Zelda! <laughs> that Zelda. was it. Was Cruising, like, that's a game, Cruising right? Cruising World's a good game. Cruising World's a solid game. I think game. I only played that in the arcades. I didn't. I don't they, think I, I, don't think I knew they like made a home only version. only Cruise in USA was in like the video, like Cruising. the arcades, but there was, yep, there was. Or Crazy Taxi. Over. <gasps> Crazy taxis yeah. and shit. Wasn't that on that was a PlayStation? Dreamcast. Did you guys something? Did you guys play Simpsons Road Rage? No, I didn't. It was essentially Crazy Taxi with Simpsons. That's characters. what I heard. It was like an exact. And like, I know that they had weird, uh, like secrets where, like, like, if you played on Christmas or Halloween, you like just for that day, because your system would know the type, the date, and time. Like, you got uh, alternate cars and costumes. And what the fuck? Yeah. They do that on yeah. games now. Like, so I know if you, if you wanted to, you can just go in before you played the game. You can go into your system and change the date and time to whatever holiday it was. Oh. And then for 24 yeah. hours, you got to play with like these weird themed. I like remember Christmas that. Nights. I think, yeah, I know Halloween was races, one but, you know. for the Simpsons racing game. I don't know if there was Christmas. There was at least two other holidays, but I know Halloween was one of them. St. Patrick's Halloween's a big Halloween for the Simpsons Everyone's with the, the <laughs> Treehouse of Horror. Like, that's a big deal. Yeah, the that's their big thing. That's like the one thing I really watch of the Simpsons anymore is Treehouse of Horror. I don't even really watch. I can't remember the last time I watched an episode of the Simpsons in its entirety. Yeah. That's been, I watched the marathon. It's been like 10 years FX. plus. You didn't watch the marathon on FX? Nope. That was kind of cool. It's on every day. I know it's on every day on Fox. I think, except, like I think except, right. except for I think Tuesday and Thursday, but it's yeah every day it's on, and I don't. <coughs> well, I just kind of lost interest. Episodes. Yeah, it's been on for like thirty years. Hey, hey guys, we hit a new record tonight. Did you know that we spent twenty minutes talking about a stuff before we even got into the actual <laughs> podcast material, <laughs> which, oh, really? which is good. Which is good. Well, this is how it's supposed to be. We want to get to know the guests because I feel like people don't get to know people. We as didn't much. really get to know. We just been talking about. Dude, uh, they things. know so no, much about you right now, Kevin. Emotional they know investment. We you don't need to know love about wings. I was I was gonna say how you make one of the like the best grilled cheese I've ever had. I yeah, apparently so. Can you give us a cooking lesson on how to make grilled cheese? It's on really not that hard. But it's really not hard. I, I don't see why. I, I mean, I can't speak for Monica. I almost but I'm don't see dumb, why people so. get so blown away. White people? Not that stupid. Or white yeah, people? Just white people. Just went, why can't white, white people white make people grilled, cheese make grilled cheese sandwiches? You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, white that, people that, can that make some weird stuff. That and my mac and cheese. God, I don't like white people. It's not hard to make. What? I make homemade mac and cheese. Yeah, I made brie mac and cheese last year, and it was amazing. Brie cheese? Brie cheese. I did that. Um. Well, I made a grilled cheese, and I've been experimenting with, because what I usually do is I, sp- I spread butter on both sides of each piece of bread. Say it's okay. slower. Um, <laughs> but you can also do mayo. It, don't knock it. Sorry. It's it's actually no, good. I and I did, you don't like uh, I did it once with spreadable well, brie. Whip? Ooh, that's like even it's worse. It's even worse, it's yeah. It's the consistency, I think, that really... You're disgraced at white people. You don't like mayo. I know they hate me. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't like mayo until I was like, until like two or three years ago. To be fair, I love it. Can't do it. I put I like, hummus it. on sandwiches. Oh, n- see it now. I'm not listening. I don't like hummus. Huma? It's disgusting. Yeah. I didn't know I liked hummus until two years ago. Also, I like mayo and hummus at the same time, kind of. Okay. Let's nope. talk about what I like. <laughs> yeah, that's not <laughs> fried <laughs> foods, fried foods, wings, fried foods, candy. Um, everything we mentioned before. Like that's breakfast, <laughs> and <laughs> oh, I, did breakfast. Eat, I did eat candy for breakfast on Sunday because there was nothing in my house, and I'm like, I don't want to go to the store. I don't want to take a shower. I had a uh, a mini baby bell for breakfast. A mini morning. baby. I bell? love those. <laughs> so a little good. cheese, dude. I love yeah. cheese. You can get a fifty pack of them at Costco. <laughs> really? I have yeah. a Costco card. I have a Costco card. I'd take you both out. Oh, Would you? yeah. You guys want to go to Costco anytime? Yeah. Let me know. Okay. All right. I just got two things okay. at 10. You heard it first here, Hugbugs. If you guys want to go to Costco, I got a Costco <laughs> card. Come with me. <laughs> just meet at Hug Central just Station. Just email us and rate and review the show. <laughs> I'll punch your hicket <laughs> and then I'll take... subscribe, we'll take you to Costco. If you subscribe, I'll take you to Costco. <laughs> okay. I'll buy you a hot dog and a soda because they're paired together uh, for $1.50. What, no pizza? Can... no pizza? No pizza? No pizza. Not for uh, the Hugbugs. I mean, okay. if you subscribe and rate twice, right. maybe pizza. Maybe pizza. I'll let you smell pizza. Maybe a chicken bake. It'll I haven't decided yet. If you give us a good review i really like reading the reviews i do too i love reading the reviews i wish people more people would review and uh like if you guys please do it makes it it makes the world better for us 
I was like, um, yeah. Hug Central. That might have been an oversight. Hug Central. Podcasts make the world better. I'm so happy that worked out. Can we get a sign? Oh, I will definitely make a sign. Fuck the painting that's of Shakespeare. That's looking really nice. I'll just put a giant thing that says Hug Central Station. Yes. I flipped the painting over so that way um, the uh, I don't even know what painting party is. Would I don't happen. think I've seen that. Oh, we gotta talk about. Ho- I had a Halloween party. Oh yeah, we which is the first time I've had a which is the first time I've had a house party since six years. <laughs> oh, good. And I, I miss a good house party. Yeah, house parties are the best. I like that way better. If than they're not too crowded, party. exactly. Yeah. No, this was yeah. Perfect. I'm was like, like a small gathering people? type yeah. of person. I don't like those like movie high school parties. Not high school, but like house parties where it's you have to like squeeze by everybody. Right. I can't then, like, stand that shit. That hey, you know what, guys? Like, hey, what's up? Yeah, hug bugs. If you rate, review, and subscribe, I will have a house party, and you are the number one guest of honor. And we will go to Costco. We'll go to Costco first, and we'll come back and drink all the Costco beer we bought. Only if Kirkland Signature Beer. <laughs> it's there. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, Kirkland is. Signature mm. Beer. Oh, Monica's mm-hmm. indulging in the Kirkland Signature Beer. Mm-hmm. Their vodka is actually supposed to be really good, too, because they actually bought... They have... Like Kirk- Kirkland Signature Vodka. They do. Yeah, they do. No, really? There's, so there's two different kinds. There's one that's like made in America that's like cheaper, but the other one is French, and it's distilled at the same place that Grey Goose is. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. well. And you can get it in a liter. In a liter. That's how they measure things in Europe. Yeah. A liter. I feel like it's been, it's been harder and harder for me, anyway, to find Grey Goose. Yeah, it's a, well, they haven't been like, um, I don't know. At least uh, like a friend of mine. as well as they used to. Like now, like Tito's what? is higher than them and Belvedere's higher than them and yeah. like all this stuff. I so usually only Belvedere was always a high end vodka. It is high, it is high end, but Grey Goose was like higher than others. Yeah, before. I usually always went Grey Goose yeah. and Kettle One was like my second choice. Yeah, I think uh-huh. Kettle One was higher than them. I have to go to like, guy. not like it's a big deal because that's where I shop anyway, but uh, I can only find Grey Goose at QFC. <laughs> I have to go to the liquor store. It's or like I shop there anyways, but. <laughs> you ever got, have you ever gone to Bevmo? No, I haven't. Holy balls. Right. I've. Heard it's it. amazing. No, Bevmo's a great place. Yeah, it's just a grocery store that just sells alcohol. And they also have really crazy beer. And they have fun, like, beer and alcohol. Like, they have drinking games they have there. Everything. And, like, it's crazy like, stuff. I'm making hey. dance moves. You know you what, welcome? you guys? If you subscribe and rate review to the podcast, <laughs> we'll, we'll go to Bevmo. We'll, we'll go on a field trip to Bevmo. Yeah, guys, we'll play drinking games. Just hang out they with Monica, Kevin, and I. Somebody made up a drinking game about the podcast. They did. Really? I saw they did. that. They tweeted. They said, you have to drink every time we say you're great. And then there's a hashtag plastered. You're great. You're I believe great. that was uh, Andy Gert. Yeah. Andy Gert. Oh podcast man. Hug bug. A, a podcast, like, not Good on dude. a weekday. Like, when you don't have anything to do afterwards, like, or the next day. Just get drunk. Totally get, yeah. Just have podcast. a hand-bone podcast? Why not do it on a weekday? I, don't, I mean, I don't even have... <laughs> right. I don't Everyone even have... I'm an podcast. adult. Right. Time doesn't stop me anymore. <laughs> and I'd love to podcast drunk. Podcast drunk? Yeah, I don't even. I don't a have a podcast. Dog cast? That yeah. didn't work. As well. That was not as good as Hicket, you guys. No. <laughs> hammer cast? Hammer, hammer cast. Look at this. Punch Stop. your punch Ham your Hickets for the hammer cast. <laughs> <laughs> Step right I'm up. writing these down, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna. St- the new title is Hickets punched for the hammer cast. <laughs> punched for the. We gotta figure out which. One I have so much fun doing the episodes and just figuring <laughs> out to name them. So. Um, <laughs> so I also did a show. We're just doing oh, the news doing really part? slow. Uh, I, I did a show in Elmo, Washington. How'd that go? Oh, uh, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, I go. I went with my friend Gabriel Rutledge. He's a great guy. He's a great comedian. He's super funny. You should check out his book. Happiness isn't funny. I'm going to plug that until I die. So it's a great book. If you ever want to know like what road comedy is like. It's the best book is that it? I've ever read, and it's the best way to go if you're like interested in it. And like, you're, oh, maybe I want to try this as like a career. You should read that book. You should know about it because it's very accurate. And it's very good. Um, we went and did a show in Elma, and the show was supposed to start supposed to start at nine o'clock, nine fifty. Oh wow, that's rough. And it was all because the lady that was running it was like afraid to bring people into the showroom to watch the show. She'd come up to us and be like, hey, let's start the show. And we'd be like, yeah, let's start the show. And then she'd just walk away. <laughs> and she'd do it like four or five times. That's the one that the chairs were camping chairs, They were right? camping chairs <laughs> as well. Oh, my God. Oh, that's right. You and showed me the picture. the whole showroom, I forgot to take a picture of this, was uh, decorated, still Halloween themed. So behind me was the creepiest looking scarecrow statue <laughs> I've ever seen. Like during the show, I'm like, this is this is so weird. And 
they didn't they had like disco lights but it was ended up being a really fun show like the crowd actually came in and they were good they also had a guy go to different bars to get people to come to the show that's how oh, tiny Jesus. the town is you just <laughs> what? walk to hey the bars guys. next door and bring people into it Dear Lodge Montana. so it took 50 minutes <laughs> it took 50 minutes to get people into the venue the minute the show ended everyone was gone in two minutes <laughs> really yeah 50 minutes to come in two minutes to go out. it was a great show though it was still really fun wow and gave me great it was awesome it was a fun show it was just like yeah, it was just one of those things from like small town, like they're just on their own time frame. They're just yeah. like, We're doing what we like. It's Saturday night. We do what we want. <laughs> so And then we went to Denny's. We did go to Denny's. I went and picked you up and we went to it Denny's. It was late. one o'clock in the morning twice. Twice. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so weird. He went to the bathroom and I was like, wait a second. Yeah. I can't, and I didn't even look at my phone <laughs> until I came, until I came home and I, I texted you like, What how did we go back in time? <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. Uh, that happened to me once yeah. at a party where I got too drunk too early and I had to go into someone's bedroom to kind of like sleep it off. And I kind of like, I, kinda <laughs> like <laughs> I drank too fast, but I'd like, oh, I, I kind of glanced at the clock beforehand and I went and I know I was asleep for a while. Uh, and I woke up and it was like still whatever time it was when I looked at the clock last. I'm like, what? Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's because I, for, I forgot that it was whatever day I was like, like, how the fuck? Spring forward. Have I only been asleep fall for two back, minutes? Bitch. Fall back's way better than that's, spring forward. I did, that's not how I remembered it, because I can never remember when. Um, I don't remember when it's supposed to happen. Well, now it's also it's 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 off, because when I was growing up, my system that I invented was uh, October only, April already. Because for the se- for a few days after the, the, the time changed, you'd always look at the clock and be like, oh my god, it's only... Whatever, and it was always in October, and then in April is when you changed them again. And for several uh, days, it was like, oh, it's already... So that's how I remembered it. Uh, and then uh, after a while, they started yeah, switching it, so now smart. it's like you change it in November and I think March. So now my system doesn't work because it's all fucked up because somebody, somebody decided... tweets. Yeah. <laughs> change your clocks. Change your clocks, <laughs> guys. <laughs> well, now that's just in your phone. My mom's like, did you remember to change your clocks back? I'm like, yeah. no, my phone remembered for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, my phone and Comcast do that for yeah, me. Yeah, everybody does it. The only thing, like, if you have a clock, you have to change. My stove, like, Gosh, my, my, yeah. Yeah. my stove, my microwave, and my car are the only clocks. Oh, my alarm clock. clock. Whatever. I think my phone might have changed. My car might have changed for me. Ooh, Edith is so smart. Edith might have changed for me automatically. Um, okay, you guys ready for some good news? Can I talk about being a banana? Just you can talk about being a banana <laughs> all you want. No, let's get let's, we got so a banana first. My Halloween, I we just did an open mic, and I did it in the banana costume, which is like my favorite thing at this point <laughs> to be on stage as a banana. Uh, and it's just chock full of banana puns. And so many puns. I made a video of it. Really? Oh. Yeah, and then I posted it on YouTube so you can see it. Ooh, everyone wants Monica, Monica be a Halloween banana. 2014, and it ends with a picture of me at home at 11 <laughs> uh, eating a burger in a banana suit. <laughs> I think I saw that picture, yeah. yeah. Which it's is a, a great photo. Picture. Yeah, a good photo. <laughs> I liked, liked, liked. Yes. So watch my video. Anyway. Watch the video. Watch Monica's banana video. Okay, the good news. I feel really happy about the good news story today, you guys. I feel, this first one's pretty comical. Okay, you ready? You ready for it? Yes. Kevin, you ready? Mm-hmm. Woman Jesus. blinded as a child can see again after hitting her head on a coffee table. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's like the way I fix my phone. This like, just, like, slam it on yeah, something. Like, oh, it or how again. dads fix anything <laughs> right. just by hitting it. It's just uh, She was blinded as a child. Like, how? Yeah, how was she okay, blinded? How uh, and when was she, she blinded? She hadn't been able to see since 11 years old okay. um, because she had an accident. And then... Wait, way to narrow it down. That they don't say what she really did. It's just that she had an accident. Oh, no. They say... She, this is way more depressing. She had a tumor <laughs> pressing on her optic nerve. Oh. And that's what made her did blind. Did they remove that tumor? Or I did she don't, just shift that bad boy I, I, over yeah, with a that nice bump little... Of the I don't know. But, not at, loose. but at 24 years old, so 13 years later, she went to go kiss her guide dog goodnight, and she hit her head on the coffee table, and then when she went to bed the next morning, she could see... How <laughs> fucking oh, confused would you right? be if you could just see again? You're like, what? wait a second. Wait, what? Is this a dream? I'm, I'm imagining you know what now, happened? like... <laughs> Her calling into work because she can see. Because she can see. <laughs> she can't stop freaking I out. I think I'm not blind anymore. I can't come in. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? I can't come in. I can see everything. Everyone with an ailment's going to go kiss that fucking dog. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. But now, yeah, or that maybe. table. Or, or that table. she's going to break up with her boyfriend because now she knows what he looks like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> you don't know true. him? I don't know him, but he's a good he friend of mine. an asshole. <laughs> maybe Why she are you talking about really Zach that way? Out. I just made up a name. <laughs> 
She's from uh, Auckland in New Zealand. Oh. oh. The best part about this story is next to it on the banner, there's a, there's a story that says, Mother breastfeeds baby in graduation photo to show you don't have to give up a career for kids. I'm yeah. like, is this a booby picture what? right next to the Wait, thing? oh, it's her graduation. Oh, fancy. Yeah. And she's breastfeeding I just, like I in her cap and gown. I don't in know her why cap I was, and gown. I was she's thinking after. it was she's like She's wearing a, a grown her kid. cap and gown, and she just has <laughs> that's boob what, out. That's what I, how it's I, I interpreted. thought it was her kid don't worry, graduating, guys. and she's also breastfeeding. You know, like Guys, I'm the opening mom. the booby picture. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Like this yep, was like just a kid uh, graduating, and his mom breastfeeding. <laughs> it's just a booby picture right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, this was not even supposed to be the part of the podcast, but sometimes it's a banner. You can't help but click on it. A hood on there is that she's a smart lady. Is it college it was, graduation? They, yeah, I think it's a college graduation. Oh, good for her. In Australia, all this stuff's happening in Australia. You know how we had the Canada I podcast go to last Australia week? Australia so bad. It's right. supposed to be really cool. I want to go yeah. so bad as well. I don't think I'll come back though. I I only really want to visit a small handful of countries. Australia is one of them. Uh especially because I've been told several times and I had it confirmed at least a little bit by two girls I met from Perth. Mm-hmm. Um I have friends in Perth. That uh Australian women love American dudes, especially the dark ones. And yeah, because there's no check black and checkmate. There. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, well, I mean, the Aborigines aren't black, but they're dark. Right, they're dark. That's like they're and they're that fucking count. super racist, though. Like in Australia, yeah, yeah, I've heard that's true. <laughs> it's yeah. like bad, like really bad. And uh, I have fr- three friends from Perth, and they're all gay dudes. Yeah, and they love black men when they come over here like yeah because I, I met these girls after uh a show uh some friends of mine were our band and i these girls came from perth like just to the show so i i was talking to them i was like okay i need you to clear something up for me because i've been told by several people or oh, like over the span of i don't know how many years that this is a thing like is like is this true and they were both basically like like yeah but sort of like pretty much they said, like, I could go to Australia and be hanging out. Someone could overhear me talking and, like, hear that I have, like... Which is kind of like it is here for them. Like, yeah. If I hear an accent, I'll fucking follow you. But, yeah, she said, like, th- that could happen, and someone <gasps> would be like, oh, excuse me, are you from the States or whatever? Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I say yes, and that's that's it. That's, excuse like, all me, I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more, question. <laughs> <laughs> one more question. Did you have sex with them? No, they were really young. Oh, that's good. So, then yeah, don't, he did. Don't do that. Ship uh, and I got excited again because... Uh, really uh, no, but, like, I think a week or two ago, <laughs> at, um, I was hanging out at the rendezvous before Patrick's uh, uh, OK Stupid show, mm-hmm. and there were two girls from Australia in the bar, and I, but I didn't want to like budge in their conversation, but I was like, trying to like lean in and, and been listen. Hey. Been like, <laughs> no, because there were some... There were you some, like real cheese? <laughs> there was an old creepy guy that was like harassing him, and I didn't want to... like. Right. Let me just add you to get this. lumped in with that guy, you so I just kind of you could have saved him. That's always well. I kept like occasionally I'd see them and I give them looks like who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is this? But I just left, I just left them alone. That's good. You should go to Australia. You clean up. That oh, dude, Kevin, nice. let's go. You clean up. I'll eat all their food. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Do Australian guys like American ladies? Really? I don't know. Hmm? Do who does? Probably Australian guys. I don't know. I don't know how it works over there. I don't really care. Hey, uh, if you're an Australian hug bug out there, please email us at hugbugpodcast at gmail dot com. Sexual relations. Australian hug bugs. Yeah, we want to go to your country I so know. bad. <laughs> Save. <laughs> I don't the know only the jokes. only foreigner I guess I've is uh I, I dated a girl with? from Scotland. Like Scotland. Yeah, and mm-hmm. she'd always like want to play golf with your penis and stuff. Well, I mean, they invented it, so. <laughs> She's kind of a loud frisbee golf. Frisbee golf. Yeah, yeah. You want a froth? That was not the right accent. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was way wrong. I'm really dumb. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for the next uh, story? <laughs> yes. Kid Rock makes Ohio man's 30th birthday wish a reality. But how? Oh, yeah. He showed up. This guy, uh, Dan McKirk, who has Down syndrome, is one of Kid Rock's biggest fans. In August, <laughs> in August, I don't know why it says that he has Down syndrome. You don't need to say that. You you can be and you you don't have to have Down syndrome. You could have just said Kid Rock, Rock fan. Maybe yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> well, maybe if they just said Kid Rock, fan, they'd be like, wait a second. And so uh, you could have said like, Kid Rock okay. fan. That doesn't have to happen. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Oh, I need to learn about this. <laughs> pretty, pretty much what happened is uh, Kid Rock came to the, like he started singing him Happy Birthday at this place in Toledo, and. Uh, he just came up next to the kid, just grabbed him. The kid, he's the thirty year old man. Just came up and grabbed him by the shoulder <laughs> and started singing happy kid. birthday to him. And then did just like, came did he just out leave? of nowhere. No, uh, he he, cry, he also gifted Dan Dan was super happy. He was super pumped. And uh yeah. Dan gifted a hat, a frame photo, and a signed Dan's book, because Kid Rock wrote a book. 
It's probably called Bar with the Bar. <laughs> That's the only song I can ever think of. My name is Kid. That's the name of the book. It's My Name is Kid, and it has like 80 eyes across the cover. <laughs> bar with the Bar. <laughs> um, he told me, it is his Dan talking. Uh, I'm not going to do a Down Syndrome impression. <laughs> please, please don't. don't. No, that would be terrible. <laughs> he told me, if I, be, if I be good. Oh, my God, it's written that way, though. Why would they write it that He's way? He's going to make you do one anyway. <laughs> You can't not do Why is the news written like this? <laughs> this is terrible. He told me if I be good to my family and all my oh. friends at work, I get free tickets to every Kid Rock concert, <gasps> Dan told WTO. <laughs> Which is like five. You, yeah. Hey, you, you guys. Treat him like he's not 30. Hey, if you're good. He's like, he's like, like Santa Claus like, yeah, 30 year old. That's like, like really <laughs> me. Like, nudging his chin. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, slugger. I heard somebody's been a good boy. <laughs> he told me if I'd be good. <laughs> Who wants tickets to all my concerts, <laughs> oh my huh? Like, if you were an adult and you like wanted to meet someone and they were just like, if you be good. You like, be that's good. fucking weird. <laughs> like, how, you, how about you not talking to me like this? Right. Mm. <laughs> that's video, though. <laughs> this guy gets super pumped, though. It's kind of awesome. I love that's it when cool. people like get yeah. their dreams coming true. I like it. I like dreams coming true. Especially if you could do nice things for somebody. There's a dream. There's a, I don't know what else he's doing. I'm so. going to save the adorable. Oh, probably not much. <laughs> I'm going to save the adorable <laughs> animal stories for last because oh, we always love those. Oh, yeah. This next one is kind of interesting. Hospital. It's got a long story. I got to explain it. Uh, hospital accepts. Long story? Long story? Long story? Uh, hospital <laughs> accepts just. Guys, guys, I'm trying to read this story and not do a Down Center accent. Can we just kind of do this right now? Okay. They wrote it I can't believe they wrote that I either. Mean, That's so I terrible. Like I understand you got to quote it, <laughs> like but can you it? maybe not? <sighs> the little brackets. You can you paraphrase. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like something. Hospital accepts just fifty cents to treat rare disorder. Family repays one point five million dollars. Sixty three years later. Sixty three years later. Yeah, I almost said sixty three thousand. That would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> sixty three thousand. So was a dinosaur. This guy, <laughs> no. uh, Dale Brownell, when he was. Uh, in 1951, he had a very rare bone disease, mm-hmm. and he couldn't afford to pay. And he gave the hospital administrator 50 cents, and the hospital administrator was like, you're paid in full, because he's uh, like being super cool oh. to the Seattle Children's Hospital. It's Seattle. Yay! And this saying. man just passed away, Dale Brownell, and he became a very successful doctor. And He, he became ga- a doctor? Yeah, and he wow. gave his entire estate to the Seattle Children's Hospital, $1.5 million. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Got Suck it, Russell one. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Suck that, yeah, Russell Wilson. Suck you come there to kids. Where's the money? We need the money, Russell. I don't know why I yelled at him like that. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, Russell, if you want to do the podcast, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take you I to Costco. Hey, Russell, if you want to go to, Russell, Russell, at- you go to Costco with me, uh, email at hugglifepodcast at gmail.com. You want to get your hicket punched. If you want to come get your hicket punched, Russell, get on over here. Russ bus. Come on, okay. Russ bus. You want to ride the Russ bus? <laughs> come on, ride a train. It's a Russ bus. Ride it. Okay. Um, come on, ride <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome, right? That's a good story. I, I wonder know. if his family's pissed. Though. His family's like, we oh, want God the, damn it. I want it. supposed to be mine. His son's like, I want an Escalade. <laughs> 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 Just all upset. Um, this is cool. This is a uh, machine in Istanbul. And the way it works is if you drop a water bottle into the top of it, dog food comes out to feed homeless animals. What? Yeah, or any any kind like it's kind of a neutral food for animals. So, so wait, is it made out of the? I'm confused. So it's a machine. <laughs> it looks like a big. Plastic. So if you recycle a bottle, if then you recycle a bottle, it drops dog food in a bottom area for uh, homeless dogs to come eat. So instead of killing the homeless dogs, they're taking care of them. It's kind of awesome. Nice. In my head, I thought you put it in there and then it changes the water bottle into dog into food. Dog I was food? like, that seems <laughs> that seems wrong. Well, it's mm. still getting recycled in a way. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it takes care of homeless animals, which That's is really awesome. cool. Where are these? Oh, there's a, there's a, a picture of a little kitten eating in it. There we go. Right next to the boob picture oh. on the right. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <hello. laughs> I won't rest rockers. until the world has bras. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that says? Because he'll be rid the world of bras. Oh, rid the, oh, world. Rid the world. Yeah. Well, yeah, if everybody what had fake it? boobs, then you don't need them. Yeah, you wouldn't need them. What is it with all these websites? And it's just like, here's a nice news story about it's kittens. The of what you Breastfeeding. Been searching. <laughs> No, it's That's not. Something for everybody. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That stuff comes up, not boobs, but like workout stuff comes up on the side of my computer all the time after I've been like searching. Is it because it knows I'm a straight white male? It could be it. Possibly. I don't know. 
Or have you been searching for boobs? I have been searching for boobs on this computer, or actually. Or not on this computer. Maybe you're writing this computer. a story you know about why, I got a this cell phone. why we don't need boobs. I got a cell phone. why we don't need boobs. No one needs boobs. I got a cell phone that way. I search boobs on. Oh. I, I do just type boobs, and I look at it, and then I put it away. You <laughs> type B. log into <laughs> some accounts on your phone and that are also on your computer? Mm, no, I don't think so. They're not connected to the internet. Well, they are. I don't know how this works, Monica. You're asking way too much I stuff. So. I'm going to end it on this good news story because we're getting really close to the end here. Um, we're at 43 minutes already. <laughs> We've gotten a lot done. How I long mean, do they usually go? An hour. An hour. Okay. Yeah. But well, we have to do Eesh. quiz. Uh, oh, that's right. I really want that to go. I'm super excited about or whatever. I really want to go to the Edmonton Airport Edmonton. because they now have therapy dogs roaming the oh, airport. Really? Yeah. So you go to an airport and you're like, oh my gosh, fucking flight. I'm so stressed out. Wait, there's a puppy in my arms. There's a puppy. I feel so much better. So many people are going to (laughs) miss flights now. (laughs) All is right. Yeah, people are going to be missing their layovers. I'm just going to stay here. And so the the cool thing is the dog is just like. Or people are going to start stealing them. Ooh, Ooh. Have you guys heard of that? This, I don't want to make a negative story out of a positive. No, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how Edmonton <laughs> therapy dogs are really they, nice. How uh, do like fund that? Like how do you right? Or it's do a part they of just a, take, it's Canada. They maybe they it's take actually, the homeless um, dogs. It, and then they no, it's actually nope. a program. <laughs> nope. No, uh, you're an idiot. And, um, <laughs> Why would they do that? The, it's Edmonton International Airport decided to team up with a uh, pet therapy society of Northern Alberta. So these are actually already therapy dogs to this nonprofit. Oh. And they come to the airport and they chill. And they make people's lives better. I thought this was really nice. That is really cool. I mean. Do you think a dog would make your day feel better? Yeah. I, I constantly think about getting a pet all the oh, time. Oh, little babies. I love them so much. No. So I want day. a baby. Do you guys like cats too? Yeah. No. no. Fuck wow. yourself. I don't hate cats. I just don't like them. I, I like dogs. I what feel like hamsters. You know they want to play with me. No. Hamsters. Hamsters. Yeah. No, they seem boring. What yeah, I but I like. If you get a dog, you gotta have like someone watch it or whatever. Like if you leave, cats kind of take care of themselves. Yeah. Well, yeah. And so I had a dog for. A while. I love dogs. I've always had dogs, but dogs I couldn't right. get like as much as I want to get one now. Uh, I, there's no way I could take yeah. I like big it. dogs, I though. can't get a dog if I was having yeah, a dog. Yeah, we like, had medium like small dogs. Size dogs. And then I had, like, a Beagle Rat Terrier who was, like, perfect because he, like, was still a dog, like, wanted to play, but he was he was small. So yeah. he wasn't, like, a yappy dog. Like, yeah. he, wanted, he was, like, a he was like a boy, you know, like, he wanted to run He's around a big boy. play. Yeah, medium, is, medium to, to big size dogs. There was a lady I, I walked by on the way to, to beat ups. It had, like, a ti- like a teacup. Beat ups. Uh, yeah, teacup, on yeah. nickname basis. Like he was out walking. Beat, 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 dub. And he was he was so far behind because he couldn't keep up with her. <laughs> 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 he so to try to run with Luke and he would fall back. Well, don't they breed dogs that way now? So they're like little fit new person dogs. I don't know. Just get a cat. I, I heard it's not good for them when it you isn't breed good them for like them, that. No. And then I don't know. My dog died when he was only seven. Like he got sick. Is it a big dog? And I think no, he's a little big rat terrier. And I think it's because like whatever they were doing to like breed them. Yeah, um, yeah. My dog, guy. my he dog died ten years old because he was a big dog, and uh, it's just like big dog lifespans are small. What kind of dog? Right. Uh, purebred la- black lab. He had a big hip problem too. That's pretty hip problems are super Isn't that common. common for them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because hip problems are like bred into it now. It's like because I know uh, I really love Great Danes, but I know they don't. Uh, yeah, they, they don't have like bad, eight years. bad joints and all yeah. that. And they die, and like it's like eight year lifespan, which is yeah, super. which there sucks. A, there was a Great Dane puppy that lived on my block, and his name was Tank. And he was Sounds like about right. the <laughs> size of my dog when he was like six months old. And then he would lean against you. Like that was his thing is he'd lean against you and you'd be like, oh, I'm going to fall over, but this is so adorable. <laughs> yeah. I love big oafs. He also was the color of a cow, which I thought was really cool nice. too. <laughs> yeah. My ex's sister had a great Dane that was the color of a cow. Nice. Her name was Charlotte. Charlotte. She had a broken tail. Oh. How did she break it? She sat on it. She sat on it. <laughs> I didn't sit on it. Like no, I meant like, like the she dog like sat on it. Like yeah. the <laughs> That's the most anticlimactic. <laughs> the dog sat on it. When Luke hotel. and her would play together, she, like, if he would walk behind her, her tail was like right in his face. So he'd like close his eyes when he was walking behind her. And then he would get just like tired of playing with her. So he'd go under the coffee table because she was too big to fit on the <laughs> 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 He's like, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, are you, that's my good news. Are you guys ready to take the online quiz? Sure. The yeah. online quiz today Kevin Addy Cat. Addison, what do you think it involves? I want to hear your guess. I have no idea. I'm just going to tell you. I just think you're so super excited. excited about it. What Nintendo character are you? Oh, oh. I'm listening. Yeah. So what the way like this old works, school like NES? It's, it's or just Nintendo. I got uh, old school. I got an old school era. character, but it's any era. I think. 
I already took the quiz, so I'm not going to take it, but I'm going to ask you the questions and you respond to me. And okay. When it's a, when it's a thing, you got to take a picture to look at and choose one. I can already tell you I can. I have an idea of who I hope I get. But Who I do you hope you get? Mega Man. You want to be Mega Man? That'd be great. You feel like Mega Man? I love, oh, that's like one of my favorite game series. Go for Mega Man. What do you, you got it pulled up, Monica? Monica's going to take the quiz alongside us. She always does this. I already took the quiz. I'll tell you what I got at the end. Okay. All right. So she always does this. Yeah, gosh, she always does it. She always does this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say you got the guy from Deja Vu. No, <laughs> I got a really good one actually. I really like. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna Toad. Tell you later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the What's the name of the bird that shoots the eggs out? Birdo? It's not bird. I got no. I didn't get bird. <laughs> Pick a party song. Closer by Tegan and Sarah. Not a party song. I don't even know that song. Right. I don't know a lot of these songs either. Kiss by Prince. <laughs> don't save me by Haim. I don't know what that is. We Can't Stop by Miley Cyrus. Get Crazy by LMFAO. Dancing on My Own by Robin. Mm. Somebody Loves You by Betty Who. Bye 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 by NSYNC or Beyonce. Just Beyonce. Prince. Prince? Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Purple Rain. I picked. What did you pick? Dancing on My Own. Dancing, Dancing on Your Robin. Own? Robin. Yeah. And now you got to choose a controller. And I'm going to scroll down to show you all the controller choices. Whoa. Which one do you want? And tell the crowd which one you chose. Tell the crowd. Tell the crowd. Uh, I think, if anything, I'm going to go with uh, this kind of like a Royal Blue. The Royal Blue controller? Yeah. They're all NES controllers. Just at the very bottom right is a giant joystick pad. Um, Royal Blue it is, Kevin. I like the purple pattern one. The purple pattern one? Okay. Mm. What's your most important, what's most important in your <laughs> what's life? What's your most important life? What's your most life? important in life? <laughs> He told me I'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Edward Coletta. What's your most important thing in life? Being cute. I'm going to take that one for you. <laughs> Friends. Having a good time. Helping others. Kisses. Sex. Strength. Talent. Justice. Please say it's sex justice. <laughs> sex justice? You can't pick two answers. Sex justice. Sex justice. Uh, just probably friends, I guess. Friendship? Yeah, that's so sweet. I picked friends also. Aww. Same to you. Pick a superpower. Hypnotic charm. Impervious to pain. Mm-hmm. Turn invisible. I don't need powers. I can handle myself. Mm. Poison kisses. See the future. Super strength. Telekinesis. Transform into any shape. Get a girl. What are you going to choose, Kevin? Uh, what are the options again? <laughs> Hypnotic charm. Impervious no. to pain. No. Turn invisible. No. I don't need any powers. I can handle myself. No. Poison kisses. No. See the future. No. Super strength. No. Telekinesis. Is superpower? Poison kisses? Maybe. Transform in any shape. Is it telekinesis? I'm not, oh, yeah, telekinesis. I, what did you choose, Monica? Hypnotic charm. They never have Ooh. the power I want on these fucking No, quizzes. they don't. Which one do you want? Teleport. Oh. oh. That's never a fucking mm. option. Ever. I chinned the microphone down. I got so into that. Mm. Mm. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Movie night. <laughs> Movie night. Pick a genre. Action. Biography. Something classic. Documentary. Fantasy. Musical. Fuck, Pixar. Sci-fi. Porn. No comedy? What the fuck? Is that? Yeah. I, I thought that was weird, too. I took this quiz, and I'm like, this quiz is like a big flaw. <sighs> big flaw. Ugh, I, action, I guess. Action? Oh, God. Musical. Yeah. I like musicals. You like guys. musicals? Yeah. I do, too. A lot. You're great. Thank you. <laughs> What's your drug of choice? <laughs> Coke. Hugs. <laughs> hugs. Why isn't hugs on here? Coke. No. Molly. No. Shrooms. No. Speed. No. Life! Exclamation point. Eh. Love. Music. Pizza. Steroids. I think you know what I chose. <laughs> Ooh, it's tough. It's a toss-up between love and pizza. Love and pizza, the name of your <laughs> comedy book. It's close between book. life and shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> love and pizza, a memoir of Kevin Addison. <laughs> I'm gonna be a sap and say love. Aww, I just peed out my butt. What? Nothing. <laughs> I'm actually very sad that hugs isn't on here. Yeah, yeah. right. Love's kind of hugs. I guess that counts, I suppose. Uh, well, I don't want to do the same one. Oh, uh, whatever. What did you choose, Monica? Uh, I'm gonna get steroids for you. <laughs> okay. Seems like a big roid rager. Really? You're like, Grrr, and you lift like natural. an eighty pound. All natural. What did you choose? <laughs> steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Ideal vacation, <laughs> seaside resort, Paris, Miami, three exclamation points, road trip, one exclamation point, Coachella, the moon, uh. ski resort, summer camp, Disney World. Seaside resort, Paris, Miami, road trip, Coachella, the moon, ski resort, I'm gonna say summer camp, Disney World. Road 
trip. Road oh, trip. I picked seaside resort. I wanted to go with the moon, the but then I felt like that was too risky because I could die. I mean, you can die on a road trip too, <laughs> but like you oh, can really get fucked up on the moon. This yeah. is my question I always wanted to know the answer to about you, Kevin. You ready? Oh, yeah. What turns you on? Ooh. Hot bod, nice clothes, soulful eyes, underboob, luscious hair, <laughs> my underboob, bean dip, bean dip. <laughs> bean dip. Uh, another name if you poke someone's boob and lift it it's called bean dipping we learned that tonight from uh, Cammy Mizuka <laughs> hot bog nice clothes soulful eyes luscious hair long legs pouty lips nice smile sexy voice nice laugh nice laugh oh, that sucks because there are like, three so on there that, uh, what are the three you really like and we'll go uh, through them soulful eyes no luscious hair yes you like a girl with luscious hair yes I like hair you don't like shaved uh, Natalie um, Portman she I'm very picky about point. short hair because it doesn't look good on everybody. Oh, good I thinking. agree with that. Thank you. Long legs? Sure. My mom always told me it, t- it takes a good lumberjack to climb a tall tree. Whoa. Whoa. Talking moms. I like that. But a lot, yeah, what sucks say. is a lot of short, oh, not short, but like a lot of tall women won't go for women or guys shorter than them because they're all weird about it. Because right. God forbid you have to lean down to kiss somebody. Fucking My mom dicks. always said... Well, actually, my dad says this about my mom. <laughs> he says anything more than a handful is a waste about her boobs. Really? <laughs> I, I knew what he meant. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean, though? Anything more than a handful Mike, is a waste. Up. Anything more than a handful is a waste. So big boobs, whatever. Anything she like, he and your dad likes big boobs? What Ron, fuck, call me. Man? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, he says he's not. He's hey, Ron, if you listen to the podcast, <laughs> can you ask me what you like about boobs? Thanks. Uh, at huglifepodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so pouty lips, do you like those? Uh, not so much. A nice smile. I feel like that's very important to yes. me. Sexy voice. I, yes. I sometimes like a girl that's like, uh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> put it in me. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you? This is my sexy voice. Have sex with Batman. 60 year old smokers. <laughs> right? Right on my cages. <laughs> right on my cages. Glued to a casino chair in front Batman. of a. <laughs> You put more quarters in. That's <laughs> uh, hair. Uh, Is it your leading hair? For hair, you? hair, voice, and and oh, maybe and maybe not like so much. I'm gonna go. It, it's a toss up between hair and voice because both of those are very. Uh, what about nice laugh? You can give a <laughs> shit. Uh, it, yeah, as long as it's not like a weird. <laughs> like I, I get yeah, like you have like an annoying titter. laugh. Like a titter laugh. <laughs> titter. No, I like what? I like boisterous laughs. Boys get into like, it. Don't like a girl that's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not like, oh, not like, don't overdo it, but like, don't like, <laughs> <laughs> or like when I can tell you to fail laughing. Lost his snort. <laughs> okay, I don't well, know why. I, s- I picked hot bod. You picked hot bod. <laughs> wow, way to go, shallow Monica. <laughs> Doesn't mean he doesn't also have a Shallow great nebs. personality. No, it doesn't. <laughs> probably doesn't if he's got a hot bod. Probably very narcissistic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Doesn't have pouty lips or a sexy voice either. He's not cool. I'm gonna go. Hey, Ron, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. God damn it! I almost went off with a coin. Like Two Face. Yeah. Comic reference. We're just all Batman right now. All about Batman. I about Batman. Oh. Um. I am Batman. What? I am the Bat. I'm am, gonna go voice because You're gonna go voice? just in case, like if someone has nice hair, they could have like a really like mousy like little girl voice. You heard it first annoying. here. My dad, or my dad, my brother's really weird about voices. Like he was really attracted to one of my friends, and I was like, okay, here we can meet her. And then he's like, you didn't tell me she sounded like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. And I was like, why well, didn't notice? Hey, like, Marsh. Jesus, I didn't know that. Love was you, the Marsh. <laughs> yeah. Is that a good impression? Let's, go Let's call him. And- you want to you wanna <laughs> kiss? You want to kiss much? I know too much about your huh? family, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Ron, call me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We talk so much about your family on this podcast. Hi, and Pam. I love it. Hey, Pam. <laughs> 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 Pammy. Any more than a handful is something. I don't, I don't remember the phrase. It's <laughs> a waste. It's a waste. Sexy voice. All yeah. right. What would you... <laughs> gosh, we get so sidetracked. What would you rather be doing? Going for a run, shopping online, working out, hanging out at an arcade, eating candy in bed. (laughs) When I read that, I was like, oh. Hiking outside, karaoke, playing laser tag, playing risk with friends. Definitely not risk with friends. It just tears friends apart. Very specific game, but I thought playing Bop It with friends. Can you do that? Can you pick that one? Bop It? I love Bop It. 
competitive boss that you're invited. You're invited next time. Pull it. It's fucking intense. Pop it. Um, Those are the only options? Yeah, those are the options. I'm going to go with arcade. That's what I chose. Hell yeah. (gasps) How did that happen? I miss you, Silver. What did you choose? I don't even know who this is, but Ness. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, really? And Kevin got Ness? (laughs) Are you serious? Yeah, you got Ness. And guess who else got Ness? You did? I got Ness. Uh. But this is the thing. I tested this thing like multiple times and got different ones each time. I think we're all Ness guys. <laughs> my guess is Ness. Ness. Uh, my least, Did you my guess least well, read the, what it says? You're a child at heart, always up for an adventure with friends. Pizza party? Not always. Yes, please. <laughs> you're curious about the world around you, and you're restless to learn everything you can. That doesn't mean I want to explore it. I'm curious. I picked Hanging that. Out of the Arcade. Um, what game is he from? It's from Earthbound. Yeah, but he's also won this, uh, the Smash Brothers game. Uh, Earthbound is a very... And he's an asshole... Yeah, he shoots this like, like an asshole. Why he, he shoots this like purple sperm out of his we head. Had a rule. And he can hit himself <laughs> in the butt with it and it flies him forward. Yeah. That's a cool power. A cool power. Why wasn't that one of the options? <laughs> they don't talk about that in there, Ness. <laughs> I think it's about that mental sperm. My group of friends growing up, uh, when we played Smash Brothers Melee, we had a rule where you could not play as Ness. I have a rule with <laughs> me too. No, you turn the hammers off, you can't play with Ness. Like a dick. He's, he's, he's just, a, he's, an just asshole. he's just a boy, Monica. I know he doesn't have a hot bod for you, but geez, lay off. I got really quiet just yeah. there. Stop. That ruined my night. Yeah, that's gonna right? ruin wings. It's this is the worst part about doing these quizzes is when you get one you don't like. You're like, God, dude, dude, the be- the person who's then you won, have to self analyze. Who's yeah. won the? You know who won the quiz? Cameron Mazuka won the quiz oh, round. Yeah. He's a yeah. sassy velociraptor. That's what he got last oh, episode. Nice. Yeah, he was. Uh, and, he, I, and I got the fucking annoying kid. From and the I got beginning. the annoying oh, kid God. too. <laughs> I got the annoying kid, and then I also got fucking Dennis. <laughs> and I took it a second time, and then. Uh, and then Cameron gets a sassy velociraptor. I was mad because I took an X Men quiz and I got Wolverine. Uh, you don't like Wolverine. Uh, I, well, we did which X Men character should be your boyfriend? Is that what it yeah. was? Yeah. And I got Wolverine, which was. I got my Colossus. Quiz <laughs> I, got, I got Colossus. Oh, really? Scratches mm-hmm. on the back. What? I wanted at least like. You want him to scratch your back? No, I just think that's probably what would happen. <laughs> You can, he wouldn't pull his claws out. Maybe when he's coming. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, what if he's like, an, what what if he's like an angry cum? He's like, ah! Oh, I'm so he sorry. Just can't, he just yeah. can't control it. That's like half the people he's murdered is he because he's around. around. Yeah. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he just turns into some... My name's not Logan. He just runs out No one knows. <laughs> I wanted to get a Zazel. I don't think that's an option. I want to get a what? I wanted to get a Zazel or, or a Nightcrawler. Or a Nightcrawler. Oh, that wasn't an option. <laughs> No, dude, I got Colossus, which I'm fine with. Colossus is cool. He's a cool dude. He can run through walls, just like Juggernaut. Just like, I'm also a, a favorite of mine. So now, um, he's a very good one. Uh, this is Xavier's brother. Juggernaut. I know. I hey, know. Marco. I'm telling the listener, but we can tell the listener together. Let's start a new podcast called X-Men Talk with that Kevin and Mike. Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> and we're going to just hang out. No, we just make Monica come and sit down. I come and just sit You don't say anything. anything. <laughs> I just feed you pumpkin bites periodically for the podcast. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we're going to talk charities, and Monica has got a really cool charity for you today, and I'm really excited to talk about it, and I will post really? it on the uh, Good, I'm glad that post. you're uh, participating. Yeah. This, well, <laughs> I don't know. This one, obviously, I saw it a lot just because I follow a lot of basketball players, but it's actually pretty cool. So there was a girl who signed to play with a college. It's like Mount Si College or whatever. Uh, and then two months after that, she got diagnosed with an inoperable brain disease. Mm. So it's like going to kill her. And um, so then there were some WNBA players that heard about this and they started this fund that's called, well, it's like hashtag one more for Lauren. So she got to play in one game like as a freshman uh, and it was on like an actual. Yeah. Like a real game. And wow. so what they did, like it's, she plays for like a pretty small college, but they sold out Xavier's arena. Like it was huge. And uh she got to play and they won and she scored and everything it was pretty cool. It happened like two days ago is when the game was, but there was like like Pat Summit was there, Billie Jean King like tweeted her like all this stuff. It was really cool. A lot of people were involved, but they also have so on the website it's like one more for Lauren, but with the numbers like one and four. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can go on there and donate to research about her specific disease and also just like brain cancers in general. Yeah. Um, it was really, I don't know, it was a really cool thing. She, I don't, there's videos of her and she's dealing with it like, I, I don't know. It's got to be I don't, really difficult just to learn yeah, that I'm you're sure, dying, sure obviously, but also, you know, she, I don't know. It's kind of cool that all the WNBA players were just like, you know, 
for her courage and love of the game. And they were That's pretty rad. That for her. I thought that was pretty cool. I but, really like that. Um, yeah, so you can go onto that website and learn more about the the game and stuff, and then you can donate to Research on Brain Cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. donate to that. And Hug it. Kevin, Hug it out. Do you have a Punch favorite that charity? I don't have a favorite. I just I have charities I've donated to, specifically uh, uh, breast cancer and ALS are the only two I've really given any kind of substantial amount of money to. Those are good ones. I don't know if you remember when we talked about our ice bucket challenges, but we did mention that Kevin donated, and it was pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "I don't want ice on me. Here, I'll yeah, donate a bunch of money." Yeah, I was, I was money, telling before the podcast cool. that's basically why I donated the amount of, I, I donated because I was paying to not do that. <laughs> 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 I like, think it was how it was this. supposed to work, but um, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> badass. Pretty ba, but hey, that's the podcast today. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure to punch those tickets to hammer cast. What <laughs> to hammercast? Punch it, right? hickets to hammercast. Punch that hickets to the hammercast, girl. Just hug bugs. You're great. You're great. You're great. You're great, Kevin. You're great for Kevin, being you're here. Great. You're great. You're both great. You're great. You're great. Wings are great. 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 You guys are so great. Bites are great. Hey, how do you guys great. feel about being great? Oh, pumpkin bites. I feel are great about it. Feel great about it. Hey guys, pumpkin bites on three. One, two, three. Pumpkin bites.